Make sure I'm in the frame. And hi, so I'm Rico, owner of Florida Boy Skincare. Um, I have a skincare business in St. Petersburg, Florida, and what we do here is facials. We do customized facials for all parts of the body, not just the face. Uh, right now, I'm just going over this package of vessels and closures um, that I use for my skincare products. This actually is a package of, let's see if it has the info here. These are 100 milliliter um, ultraviolet glass vessels. Um, I enclose in here serums, toners, and a facial moisturizer. Um, and in addition to these, I order the closures. So they're pumps and sprays. Okay, um, in addition to that, I gotta do the labeling of the product. So I have the labels here. Um, so right now I'm just gonna look through this inventory and make sure there's nothing um, cracked or, in fact, I'm gonna see if this can fit in here because honestly, I'm not gonna be able to get to all of this tonight. So I'm gonna have to secure some of these in another um, box. So, uh, first of all, just looking at the top, they look fine. Doesn't look like anything is broken this time around. Thank goodness. There are 53 um, vessels in this package. And so I have a box back here that I wanna grab so that I can put the um, some of the vessels in there. So let me do that now. Hang on. inside of here so that's a good thing that's a huge blessing okay that's, that's good alrighty you saw it here first <laughs> now let's go over what's inside of this box and I can take this bolster out it doesn't need to be here okay So we've got woo, 53, baby. So I have 25 pumps. I should have 25 pumps plus one extra for a client who needs a new pump. So I have 25 spray caps plus one extra for a client who needs an additional spray cap. She dropped hers. And then I should have 25 plus three um, pumps because we're gonna do 28 um, moisturizers. Good, good, good. Yay. And then this comes out. Okay, so in fact, before I take this out, let's see, can this fit inside of here? I don't know. No, that's okay. So, Let's try and label, Lord, let's try and label one of these. This is the Garmi uh, label, which is the label for the toner. It's so interesting and kind of like a surreal feeling, I'm not gonna lie, to think. Um, <laughs> one day soon, hopefully, not hopefully, one day, 
I'll have people packaging this product for me and it won't be a huge expense. Um, and one day this will be profitable and it will help and change like the trajectory and experience of my life in a positive way. Not only in my life, but the life of my husband and my family and my soon to be children. I have some kids hopefully in the next year. Wow, so it's kind of like when you look back on your life and you're trying to do something new and fruitful and you go based off of the pattern, of like your track record, knowing that you are able to accomplish things and you are able to persevere and be consistent in the best way you know how. And like when all of that combines to this moment, it's like, you know, eventually this shit's gonna work, girl. <laughs> It's a cool feeling, and I actually, I don't think I had that sense until just now. So that's neat. <laughs> um, and I actually think I've never had that sensation come across like my, you know, um, I guess, self, because I actually, on the first launch of this product, I didn't label any of it myself. I didn't package any of it myself. Um, I didn't do any of that. I paid to have that done. Um, and a local essential lab, you know? So, interesting, interesting. So let's see. All right, so come on now. This is gonna be the first one. I'm not really sure how this goes, but we're gonna find out now. Oh my God. I really don't know what I'm doing. This is the first time I ever labeled a bottle. Damn, and I don't wanna fuck this up because this stuff costs money. And why is <laughs> seeming so difficult to label a bottle? I have no clue. So this is what I'm gonna do. It's on there now, honey. It's on there now. And I'm gonna put the, oh my God. This, oh God, I already got an air bubble in this damn thing. Ah, ah, oh God. Yeah, because I want this to work properly now, come on. Girl, what am I doing? Oh my God. If it takes this long to label one thing, I'm gonna be screwed. Wow, and it's uneven, but it looks okay. <laughs> Damn, how are you supposed to line this up? I guess I'm gonna be watching YouTube videos how to line it up. But that's the first one I lined up. And this is the Guard Me. So the Guard Me has a hyaluronic acid, cucumber extract, and the um, spray closer because it's our toner. Um, and our toner comes in 3.38 ounces or 100 milliliters. Woo! I got some work cut out for me, baby. Let's put the top on there. Let's put the top on there. This is the toner, honey. You saw it here first. You saw it here first.
I'm not gonna lie, you guys. Um, packaging it, this, this is the first time I'm packaging that's fine. It's my first time, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Packing this is not something that I think I wanna do for long. I wanna pay somebody to do it. And that's okay. <laughs> Because first of all, I, I don't have time to do this. Um, there are other things I really should be doing, but you know what, you gotta start somewhere. And let me just share some of the other things I should be doing is marketing the business better, coming up with that marketing material. I enjoy making the content, so I could be, which I am doing now, but um, literally I need to be filming some of the services that get done here because it's the holiday season and I really did wanna have some new content showing the services here. Um, versus reusing the content from last year, which is still fine to reuse. I just personally wanted to do more uh, new material. Um, so those are some of the things I could be doing instead of doing the pumping and, you know, packaging all of this. So like I said, I'm thinking big here. So when you are thinking like to like the desired endpoint, you gotta recognize you cannot do all of the, um, rudimentary task is just you know if you're gonna run a business you're not gonna stay doing this so I'm putting it out there I want to have the income and revenue to be able to profitably you know make a profit and have this done for by by a company you know that can do it well and not have my labels you know crooked which I did that myself and so look you guys are gonna see the first spray so what's special about this vessel is this can close and open. So you could put it in your, your let's say, bag if you're a female. No, well, you know, I have a bag and I'm very much a male, a gay male. And um, so anyway, you can close this, you know, open and close it. So you hear that click. Now, should be open. Now we're gonna give it a nice spray. I absolutely love it and I'm glad I didn't wet my labels. So with that being said, I'm going to stop filming. I appreciate you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. Put some comments below if you're interested in skincare services. If you're in the St. Pete, Tampa Bay area, you can go to www.floridaboyskincare.com, www.floridaboyskincare.com. I appreciate you. Um, and here's to the beginning of a lot of success, not only for myself and my family, but hopefully for you as well. I hope you get some encouragement or some inspiration to go after your dreams, start something new, produce something, make a connection with new people, new clients, new customers, um, do something different, do something engaging, do something fun, believe in yourself, um, and let that propel you forward. No, you will not have all the answers. I certainly don't have all the answers, um, but I do know that if you continue to work towards a goal, you will achieve it. It's just one of those things I've experienced it more than a couple of times, honey. More than a couple of times. Um, I'm gonna end this quickly, but before I do, I'll share a fast story. So I was working as a nurse, and of course, I had this fabulous ass Volkswagen that I really enjoyed. It was a Volkswagen CC, and I had got that car after, um, when did I get that car? I got it in Wyoming, um, anyway. Yeah, I got that car in Wyoming. So it was like my favorite car for a very long time, but I had always kind of was like thinking, you know, I want to get a newer car, a nicer car. And the car that was in like my ideal, 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 <laughs> idea of my dream car was a car that honestly was, you know, close to like $100,000. And I thought to myself, hmm, that just seems odd to think that, you know, you could get that kind of car. You know, like, what are you thinking, buddy? Like, bring it on down to earth. Um, you know, that was like the battle back and forth in my in my brain, you know. At one point I was like, oh, that's what I want. And then the other part of me was like, that's out of your league a little. So um, even with that being said, even the idea that it's out of my league, but only by a little bit, you know, that's kind of like myself in a way trying to say, you, you could get there, you know. Maybe not right away, but you could eventually get there you know it's out of your league but by a little you know just keep working you can make the steps you can get closer and closer over time and that's exactly what i did i took my black ass down there and ordered my tesla and before you know what i had one my tesla model s um and i got it back in 2020 
too. So I got it last year. But anyway, to anybody watching, just dream big. You know, there are going to be some things that, you know what, it may be out of your league right now, but it don't mean it will always be out of your league. Um, before you know it, I'll have a vacation house. Um, before you know it, I'll have maybe two rental properties or more. And I imagine this in... Honestly, I'm not even going to exaggerate. I think within three years. Right now, I'm 31. I should have a vacation house and two rental properties by the time I'm 35. I would rather have it by the time I'm 34, but I'll give myself a reasonable amount of time to accomplish this. So, yeah, when you watch this video and I'm 35 years old, you might be watching it and hear me talking about what I'm trying to get. And by that time, when I'm 35, who knows? I might be able to comment under this video and say, Look at me now, bitch, in a house in Vermont in this winter with our fabulous fireplace. And uh, with that being said, I love you so much. I'm ending this video. I'll talk to you soon. Like, comment, and share. Bye-bye.